Now, the Daleks were originally created by Terry Nation. Their chilling cruelty, their robot technology, ensuring them lasting popularity. Terry Nation, now a Hollywood writer and producer, and the early production team had no idea the Daleks would become one of the landmark creations of science fiction. Our Los Angeles producer, Irene Levin, caught up with him. I had grown up in the cinema, at the front row of the Odeon all my life, practically. And I used to love the, what were then rated H pictures, horror films. And there was the mummy and the Frankenstein monster and all of those things. And even though I thought they were wonderful, I always knew that the monster was a man dressed up. And so when I came to make my own monster, I wanted to make sure that it was not a man dressed up. Now, the only thing you can do with that, I think, is to take the legs off. You have destroyed our videoscope and one of our lips. And you, in turn, killed the thou leader in your ambush. You will be responsible for more deaths unless you help these people. The only interest we have in the Thals is their total extermination. When I wrote that first block of Dalek episodes, I worked on the assumption that this was take the money and fly like a thief. The show cannot last beyond its original 13. I mean, what a dumb show, I said. And uh, so I, I killed them off knowing that there would be no future for these guys. Uh, then I figured, oh, we had to get them back. And I, I felt a bit like Conan Doyle trying to get Sherlock Holmes back from the Reichenbach Falls. Uh, but then it occurred to me that we, we were moving through time. So what we could have ultimate, what we saw was the ultimate, ultimate end of the Daleks. And now we could go back and see other things that they had done in time, which justified it for me and I think everybody else. But we finally didn't care too much, you know. I think they had a voice that you could imitate. I think you could glide around. And I think they were bad. They weren't grey. They weren't nice bits about them. They were bad guys. And I think everybody could relate to that. Doctor Who and the Daleks probably helped science fiction enormously. I mean, people like science fiction was a dirty word. It was sub-literature at that time. It has introduced people, kids, to good science fiction, who then went on to read the great writers of science fiction. It's now, a, certainly science fiction is a bigger part of our culture than it ever was when we came on the air. So I think it, it's very valid to say we, we did make a contribution. Our prisoners are intelligent and perhaps dangerous. Why not exterminate them? I have a great pride in the fact that the word is in the dictionary, that I created these creatures, that they still exist. Uh, and I suppose everything surprises me, but now, now it's that they've been a part of my life for so long that I can't think of my career without them. I love them, Arthur. <laughs> They're really scary in black and white, aren't they? Now, just in case you aren't familiar with the full range of horror displayed by the Daleks, here's an example of how they relentlessly pursue their enemies to the ends of the universe.